Hiya, my name's David, I'm the Wandering Ponderer. Today, I'm in Tilky Road. Um, I'm looking for a windmill, which isn't here. <laughs> At the back here, this house, that's it. This one, this house, there was a roundhouse where Harry Nunn the son of Henry Nunn, Dick Nunn, the famous, famous blacksmith of Coggershaw. Harry Nunn took over the business from Henry when Henry Nunn died. And there used to be a windmill here. In fact, there used to be two windmills in this area. The house that was here originally was the round house of a windmill. Basically the bottom part of a post mill that was here. The mill was taken down because there was another bigger windmill next door. And it was thought that there was not enough wind to drive two. The post mill is the earliest type of European windmill. Its defining feature is that the whole body of the mill that houses the machinery is mounted on a single vertical post, around which can be turned to bring the sails into the wind. All post mills have an arm projecting from them on one side opposite the sails and reaching down to near the ground level with some as at Saxted Green the arm carries a fan tail to turn the mill automatically with the others the arm serves to rotate the mill into the wind by hand the earliest post mills in England are thought to have been built in the 12th century. But this windmill um, left behind it a legacy in the form of a, a roundhouse, which is where that new building there is. And I'll put photos up. I've just been talking to a gentleman who um, is living in that house there and he found evidence when they were building that house, evidence under the ground of uh, remnants of the windmill because um, it had to be subjected to an archaeological dig before they could build anything. But this is where the windmills of windmill fields were. I went to windmill fields, there's nothing to see there really. There's only housing estate there. Which windmill fields is at the back of this place. This backs onto it. But it is interesting. You you walk around the town, wherever you are, the clues to its history can often be found in the names on the streets. Names on the streets tend to take form of maybe a famous person that lived in the area, or a famous councillor, or a company, or something of that nature. Or in the case of Tilke Road, Tile Key Road, which is where they used to make bricks, and this was the monks, the Cistercian monks that brought all that into Coggeshall brick making. But the windmills of Coggeshall are part of a legacy 
windmills and water mills and there were quite a few mills in Coggeshall that were around throughout Coggeshall's history. Hmm. Looking for the windmill. Sorry? I'm looking for the windmill. For it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sticking with me and getting this far with the, the, with the video. As always, if you don't mind, subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And just lets YouTube know that you want to be alerted when a new video comes up. But thank you very much. Stay safe and I'll see you 